Boruto, 10 Best Kanoha Shinobi After Naruto Lost Kurama Although Naruto has lost Kurama, Kanahagakure still has some reliable impressive shinobi. Naruto Uzumaki, Kanahagakure's 7th Hokage Was the strongest of all the shinobi in the world and someone worthy of fighting the Atsutsuki clan members. However, he lost his tailed beast and ally, Kurama, in his fight against Ishiki Atsutsuki leaving him weaker than before and forcing him to take a step back. At the same time, Boruto, Naruto Next Generations has seen several young shinobi step up and make their presence known in the story. With Kanahagakure being at the center of most of the threats in the story, the village has produced quite a lot of talented shinobi who are slowly fulfilling their potential. 10. Moegi Kazumitsuri has the power of wood release. Moegi is the former teammate of Kanoamaru Saratobi and Udon and is currently one of the most promising ninja in the village. Over the years, Moegi has trained herself enough to become a jonin. She excels in earth release and water release ninjutsu, but her biggest asset is her ability to use the power of wood release. How she acquired this Kekiai Genkai remains unknown, but having the same ability as the first Hokage certainly makes her quite powerful. 9. Shikamaru Nara is one of Kanoha's smartest ninja. When it comes to pure strength, Shikamaru Nara isn't all that special. He possesses barely above average strength, but he's got a mind sharper than most characters in the story. Which is what makes him truly dangerous in battle. Shikamaru has triumphed over characters much stronger than him over the years, and in Boruto, his mind is sharper than ever. As such, he remains among the most fearsome shinobi of the village even now. 8. Hanabi Hyuga is a master of the Byakugan in Boruto. Hanabi is an extremely powerful jonin of Kanahagakure and the heiress of the Hyuga clan. As a child, Hanabi was already stronger than some adults. And her skill was often compared to Niji, another genius of the Hyuga clan. As an adult, Hanabi has fulfilled her potential and has become an incredibly dangerous kunoichi. She has complete mastery of the Byakugan and is slowly growing stronger. With a bigger threat looming over the village, Hanabi might be called into action soon. 7. Kanoamaru Sarutobi is one of the most important jonin in the story. Naruto's very own disciple, Kanoamaru Sarutobi is a jonin of the village who aims to become Hokage one day. He leads Team 7 and has already displayed great fighting ability. Kanoamaru has massive reserves of chakra as a member of the Sarutobi clan, and his strength is enough to take on strong foes like Ao in battle. Although he hasn't displayed his full fighting potential yet, he remains to be one of Kanoha's strongest. 6. Tsunade Senju is a Kage-level ninja, even in her old age. Tsunade Senju is the fifth Hokage of Kanahagakure and one of the strongest kunoichi in the history of the village. As a member of the legendary San Nin, Tsunade holds legendary status in the series. After her retirement, she's gotten slightly weaker, but she's still a massive threat to most villains out there. Tsunade's physical strength is unparalleled. And her Byakugu seal makes her an incredible opponent for anyone to take on in battle. Undoubtedly, Tsunade is still among the strongest fighters in the village. 5. Kakashi Hitaki is still as strong as he was when he ruled the village. After the Fourth Great Ninja War, Kakashi Hitaki was made the sixth Hokage of the village. Despite having lost his Sharingan in the Fourth Great Ninja War, Kakashi was a shinobi worthy of being Hokage. What's more, on top of all the jutsu that he'd already copied by this time, he also continued to train and learn new techniques like the purple electricity. Although Kakashi plays a small role in the story right now, he's one to watch out for when it comes to fighting. 4. Sakura Haruno is the strongest kunoichi in the world. 
Sakura is the apprentice of Tsunade Senju and is currently the greatest medic in the ninja world. During the Fourth Great Ninja War, Sakura attained great power that made her strong enough to stand next to the likes of Naruto Uzumaki and Sasuke Uchiha. Her great feats in the war were followed by her getting even stronger and becoming a jonin. As an adult, Sakura is incredibly powerful and could go head to head against a Mangekyo Sharingan user in Shin without even using her full power. 3. Rock Lee is a master of the eight inner gates. Once deemed to be a ninja without any potential, Rock Lee has attained great heights in Boruto by becoming a jonin. Under Mike Guy's guidance, he mastered the usage of the eight inner gates technique, and after the war, he could open up to seven gates. By the Boruto era, Rock Lee has mastered all the eight inner gates. And by opening the gate of death, he can gain strength enough to battle the likes of the Atsutsuki clan members. 2. Sasuke Uchiha is still a powerhouse after losing his Rinnegan. Sasuke Uchiha used to be a threat to the Atsutsuki clan members until recently. However, now that he has lost his Rinnegan, he has been weakened considerably. Nonetheless, he should still have access to the Six Paths powers that Hagoromo Atsutsuki shared with him. Furthermore, he still has the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan in his right eye which gives him the power to use the Amaterasu and Flame Control. His Susanoo makes him a threat to most characters in the story, and with all that in mind, Sasuke is certainly worthy of being Kanoha's second strongest ninja right now. 1. Naruto Uzumaki still remains to be Kanoha's strongest ninja. Although Naruto has lost Kurama's power, he still has the chakra of the other tailed beasts within him, along with the six paths young power that Hagoromo Atsutsuki shared with him. Naruto can also access Sage Mode, which amplifies his strength and sensory perception to sky-high levels. It goes without saying that Naruto isn't the same as he was before, but he's still the strongest Kanoha Shinobi right now. <laughs>